Okay, so we're going to review integers. What is an integer? Integers are positive or negative whole numbers, okay? So we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting integers, multiplying and dividing integers, and then order of operations. So, step one. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to eliminate any of signs that are double using the rules if the sign is the same. So, for example, if there's a negative and a negative, what does that give you? Good. If they're the same, positive and positive, that also gives you a positive. And if the signs are different, does not matter the order, positive and negative give you what? Negative, right? So same signs give you positive, different signs give you negative. So if the signs are different, your result will always be a negative. If the signs are the same, your result will be a positive. So let's look for signs that are the same. If there's double signs, we can change them. We have two negatives here. So what can we do with that? So we can change that. We can write negative 3 plus, good, 2. Then what happens here? We have plus minus. What does that change to? A positive and a negative changes to a negative, right? Minus 5. And then we just have minus 3. There's, there aren't two signs there. And then we have plus 10. There are not two signs there. We just do this in order now. We'll do it step by step because I want to break it down for you, okay? Okay, so we're going to read this from left to right. The first thing we read is negative 3, look here, plus 2. What is negative 3 plus 2? Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So I've just simplified that. All I'm going to do next is I'm just going to copy this. I haven't done anything with it. I've just simplified that. Now I'm going to copy minus 5, minus 3, plus 10. So negative 1, take away 5, correct, is negative 6, right? So I've just done that. And now, again, I'm just going to copy the rest of my sentence. This is like English, right? Left to right, I have negative 3 plus 10. Negative 6, take away 3. So again, if you need to use your calculator, you can. What's negative 6 taking away 3 from negative 6? We get negative 9, good. And I have to write the plus 10 because I didn't do anything with that. And now, last and final step. We only have one operation left. We have negative 9 plus 10. One. Does it matter if you write positive one or if you just write one? Doesn't matter. Both of these are correct, okay? I'll accept either answer. Negative nine plus ten is positive one. You can just write it as one. Okay, so just a reminder, whenever you see brackets next to each other, we know we, that we have to multiply. So we're taking, look here, a positive five and multiplying it by a negative two. Let's do that first. What's positive five? times negative. A positive times a negative gives me a negative. What's 5 times 2? 10. We still have to multiply it by the 6, so I'm going to put that here, right? I just simplified one part of it. And then the denominator says, I'll simplify this now, negative 10 times negative 3. What's a negative times a negative? What's 10 times 3? Okay, you don't have to put the positive there, but I'm just putting that to remind you. Good. We're going to do negative 10 times positive 6. What's negative times a positive? Negative. Good. 10 times 6. 16. Divided by, what's, that, what's the denominator? I already simplified that. 30. Okay. Last and final step. Negative divided by a positive gives me a? Negative. Negative, what's 60 divided by 30? Final answer.